Hey guys, so I'm back with another book review and this time we are reviewing Talking to the Dead. This book, amazing. Chef's kiss, kiss for me. I um, loved like every minute of reading this book. It was a long read for me. It's not a super long book. It's not really hard to process or anything, but it was just long um, to process at the same time. Like, it's not anything like hard to mentally or what is that? Like, mm, like academically process or anything because I've had some books where your girl was struggling or whatever. So it's not one of those books. It's just written like super clear, cut and dry. But it's just like a lot of information in here. And it's, again, one of those books where you feel like you're just like talking to someone that you love, someone near and dear to your heart. And they're just giving you the information. They're telling you about their friends and what their friends went through. And you're just listening and soaking it all up. So, um, basically in this book, she, um, interviewed, I want to say like five women she interviewed and they gave her information based on when they were younger and they got into spirituality, um, which is more of a like organized religion type spirituality. Um, and it was just so beautiful. Like, um, this whole book is really about black people and um, religion and why we're so religious, where it came from, how we got there, um, issues that we had with religion as far as like during slavery. Some, um, some people did not want black people to have religion, it says in this book. Um, they didn't want them to be able to gather and feel like spiritually connected and spiritually powerful because they were afraid they would revolt and you know do that type of thing while other people felt like yeah we can have them do the spiritual thing and have them um more like the psychological mind control because we can control what it is that they're doing um within this book they're talking about like um i want to say some like white people um sitting in on some of the religious things that black people were doing way way back then and just like critiquing it and saying that it's wrong and they still have their savage in them and things like that and for us like within our culture like it's normal like some of the things like um i think the lady in the book called it calling like when you're there and the preacher saying something and you feel like the spirit and stuff and you're like you know um yes preach you're raising you know your hand like calling in the energy that type of thing and so they thought that was like weird and not the right thing to do and then also I think like the music being more like up tempo and you know all those things and then they had um if you've read other like hoodoo books or anything like that I'm pretty sure you've heard of the ring shout and so she was talking about the ring shout in there and stuff like that and it's just like these are just what it is and that's our culture but to other people it was just seen as like that's not the right thing to do. That's not how you do church. Like they're heathens, they're savages. Like they still want their old gods, which of course some of, especially like in the beginning, I'm pretty sure they wanted their own, their own gods and not to have like, you know, Jesus forced upon them and stuff. But then it talks about kind of like more, not super modern, but more modern, um, religious religion, which are the women who are interviewed in this book. Um, and they're just saying like different things that they did when they became like um, members of the church. And like right now, you can go to a church and you can just become a member. But back way back when, when these people were kids, um, I can't even remember the specific years or anything like that. But um, just not too far from where we are today. Um, just thinking of everything from slavery to now. So not too far from where we are here in 2023 that these women um had to actually go through like a process which they call seeking they had to go through this seeking process in order to be ready to um become members of the church and get baptized and devote themselves in that way so it was just different and then within some of that seeking process it was interesting to see that 
the spirituality aspect of the religion was still there. So that part of the culture was still pretty connected with what um, they were doing then. And even with these women in um, these different organized religions who probably like shun the idea of um, spirituality and like more like hoodoo, voodoo type stuff, they're doing it. And so it was really interesting to me. There was only, I think, one of the women who was just really like, I'm a, like a voodoo practitioner. I practice voodoo, that type of thing. Everyone else, it was just like, it's there, but it's unsaid. It's unheard. And um, that's the way, a lot of, of the way a lot of things have to be within that time and within the culture during that period. So when I got this book, um, I, again, a TikTok recommendation. So I didn't even read the back. I'm just like, let me just, it's recommended. Da, 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 that's cool. And so just from the title, I'm thinking like it's talking about like talking to the dead. Like I'm going to learn how to do like some more ancestor veneration and things like that. But no, this book was like not what I expected at all, but it was so good. And it gave again, that foundation that you need, um, for the history of hoodoo. Like another part of that history is how religion played a part into where we are now and how again how hoodoo has survived to be where we are now um i found it interesting that these women do again talk to the dead um they and they look at it differently and it's given me different ideas from how i would like think about it before so like some of the things they're saying like like one lady when she's seeing she said she feels like her mother's there with her because her mother's saying and, um, you know, maybe it's your grandma while you're cooking or, um, you know, just anything like that. They're like, you know, like if you're whoever took you fishing, you might feel it then. Or you might just be sitting and meditating like most of us would think. And maybe someone's talking to you or maybe someone just is protecting you. Maybe you smell that scent of perfume in the air that your grandma used to wear out of nowhere or her favorite incense burning or something. And they're talking to you. It doesn't always have to be that like verbal hearing that you know. And a lot of people get to talking to the spirits within dreams. So that's also just quite interesting. And then... um a lot of this because this was for the um talked about the gala slash geechee women which i always thought gala geechee was just one word but the way she has it is like there's some people called gala there's some people called um geechee so that was interesting for me to learn because i never knew that but um so she just talked she's you know talking about that community and how um tourism is kind of destroying what they had going on like they were people of just like solitude like more so being left alone so to speak and they were able to hold on to and keep their religion and their slow life and you know things like that like how it was but now there's a lot of tourism and they're building up over there and so in a way it helps people like the women that they're speaking about in the book because they're able to get like the tourism money but then you know they have a hard part with their heart because they're like we know that this is also destroying this community and we're like some of the last like the last of a dying breed kind of thing because new generations unfortunately are not wanting to um keep hold of the old traditions and the ways that they did when they were growing up even just from them to their children you can see that there's a big age gap like the children didn't do like the seeking and they're not into the religion as much as the elders are and doing things the way that they were done um and then it just also talks about like women within religion as well and how um you know women are treated a little bit differently than men and um looked at differently and you know women are always supposed to be wholesome and do the right thing and that type of stuff so it was just a really great book overall um i highly recommend it especially if you are hoodoo and you're just wanting just more like that foundation it doesn't have any like spells it doesn't even really per se talk about hoodoo it like touches some of that stuff but it doesn't it's just 
it's just kind of there. It's just kind of like floating in the air, like you know it's there. But it's not the main concept of the book. The main concept is talking about religion from like, um, you know, our ancestors once they were free. Part of it was slavery, but more so once they were free and a little bit separated from slavery type thing. So, um, yeah, I would really, really recommend this, especially if you like reading. And especially, again, if you want that foundation, highly recommend it. Into the next one. Bye.